Taking that first bite into a freshly carved piece of turkey brings back so many happy memories. Memories of holidays, Christmas, Thanksgiving, and Sunday roasts. Time spent with family and loved ones. Perfectly carved turkey slices. Succulent turkey meat covered in a rich and smooth gravy. I'm gonna show you how to make this happen with my ultimate turkey. I want a moist and juicy bird with a beautiful crispy skin. I like it spicy, so I'm gonna start by making a chipotle and garlic butter rub. Butter, chipotle, garlic, cumin, cinnamon, oregano. Blitzed in a processor. Now the tricky part to getting a crispy skin is to separate it from the meat. I'm going in there with a spoon and just easing the skin off the meat. Take your butter rub and ferry it into the cavity. Now that I'm halfway along, I can massage that butter all over from the outside. I'm also gonna stuff half-cut clementines into the bottom of the turkey for fragrance and moisture. And I will fill the neck end with stuffing. Here's the piece to resistance. I'm gonna inject a beautiful sauce into the turkey before throwing it in the oven. Oil, water, Worcestershire sauce, salt, onion powder, bay leaves, garlic powder, ground thyme, ground sage, finely ground black pepper. This will replenish the lost moisture within the muscle fibers, whilst also keeping the skin dry, allowing the skin to crisp, brown, and fill the kitchen with that joyous turkey aroma. I have preheated my oven to the highest temperature, so this dude is ready to go. As soon as my turkey is in, I'm gonna lower the temperature to 180. Because I went for a slow maturing free range turkey, my cooking times are halved. So I'll be cooking this turkey for 25 minutes a pound and 20 minutes at the end. This is where it all goes down. So the muscle fibers are doing their thing at 180 degrees Celsius, breaking down for a soft, juicy turkey. This is where you get your crispy, brown, and sweetened skin. A chemical reaction between amino acids and sugars breaking down into even smaller molecules, creating flavor and color. Key factors in this happening are dryness and temperature. And that's it, my turkey is done. Ultimate turkey. the smell of a turkey roasting on Christmas day. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Soft, tender, succulent, juicy meat. Man, that skin, so crispy and savory. I guess the only thing left for you guys to do is try this at home and make sure you share your photos. Hashtag love your kitchen. We'll see you guys next time. I'm going back in. Yeah. <laughs>